Good morning, my dear children. How are you? How is everything? Hope you are doing well. Uh, as you know that this is Miss Sanjida, and I'm with Science. And today's uh, topic is sink or float. What is this? Repeat after me. Sink or float. Sink or float. Yeah. What does it mean by sink? Look at the sink. Do you see the picture sink? When some object sinking under the water, look at this, goes under the water, is called sink. Look at this. If it is heavy, if it is a metal, if it is iron, brick, you know, it will sink and float. Something lighter than water can float. Look at this picture. Floating. It is not, it is not going to underwater, right? Yeah, it is floating. So that is called float. F float, sink. This topic, actually, you have to do the experiment. Depend on the experiment, you will come to know what object can float and what object can sink. My dear children, you can experiment at home with help of your mama or daddy, okay? So let's see the video, very good video, and then you will come to know what is sink, what is float, and what kind of object can be sink, or what kind of object could be float. Okay, let me see. So much to learn about, it'll make you want to shout, Blippi! Hey, it's me, Blippi. Ooh, what is this? Huh? This is a tank, and today we're going to fill it up with water. Go around the park, find items to see if they'll either sink or float. But first, we need water. <laughs> Good thing I have a bunch of water. Let's fill it up. One. Two. Three. This looks like the perfect amount of water. Now, let's go to the park, find items, so then we can see if they'll either sink or float. Let's go! Okay, now let's find some items at the playground, and so then we can see if they'll sink or float. <laughs> Come on! Whoa, look at this! How convenient! It's a tote. Whoa! Can a person trust a country? Oh, so then we can put all the items in here. Let's go! Whoa! A rock wall! See, you climb up it. Whoa, whoa! Oh! And look at what it is! Whoa! Look! Some toys! Blue and orange. Okay, watch me climb up the rock wall. Hello. <laughs> okay, here I go. Whoa, look, a big red slide. Whoa, look at the bottom. 
Ramon. more items. These are oranges. Yum! I love oranges. And they're the color orange. <laughs> okay, let's go. <laughs> Come on. Oh, look, I found another item. Do you see it? is a dumbbell. Urgh. Makes really big muscles. Yeah. Urgh. Urgh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I wonder if it'll sink or float. It's pretty heavy. Put it in there. Let's go. Come on. Whoa. <laughs> Another slide. Look. This is the same color as the last side. It's big and red. Some chips. <laughs> I wonder if these will sink or float. Let's put it in the tote so we can go see. Wow, look at this area. Whoa, go the other way. Whoa, hello. <laughs> oh, look, another item. Whoa. It's a dog bone. What's this doing on the playset? Hmm, it's the color green. I wonder if this will sink or float. Put it in there so we can go find out. Whoa. Wow. The color green and then also blue. Whoa. Oh, hey, some stairs. over there a big red slide okay I'll go down okay here I come <laughs> whoa <laughs> that was awesome oh hey look at what we found four yo-yos one is the color green this one is the color orange this one is the color blue, and this one is the color red. Let's go see what else we can find. Come over here. What is this? Looks like a steering wheel. Whoa! 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 I am so dizzy! Okay. Let's go see what else we can find. Woo! Look at this! Looks like a staircase. Hello! <laughs> Ooh! Another slide! Yeah, and it's the color red! Alright, here I come! Red! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> you can see things nice and close. Whoa! Is that an ant? Whoa! A little flea! <laughs> so many cool insects. Okay, let's put this in the tote so we can see if it'll sink or float. Whoa! What's over here? Whoa! Whoa! A bridge! Two! Three! Yeah, three golf balls. Okay, here I go. Another slide. We get it. You don't really want your kids watching videos, but it can have certain advantages. Let's go see if they'll sink or float. Huh? Ooh, awesome.
awesome. All right, now that we have all of these items, now we can put them in the tank and see if they'll sink or float. All right, let's see, what do we have here? Ooh, a magnifying glass. Ooh. <laughs> all right, I wonder if this will sink or float. I think I know. Ready? Yeah! It went to the bottom. So that means it sinks. All right, what else do we have here? Oh, hey. Orange and blue yo-yos. All right, let's put them in. Yep, they float. All right, wow. So magnifying glass that's really heavy sinks and then the really light things that are full of air, the yo-yos, float. All right, let's see. Ooh, bright yellow golf balls. Hmm. <laughs> Ooh, all right, let's see if these golf balls sink or float. Oh, look, a yo-yo went to the bottom. So now the yo-yo sinks. <laughs> all right, back to the golf balls, ready? Whoa! Yep, golf balls sink. All right, let's see. Ooh, some chips, snacks. All right, let's see if the bag sinks or floats. Ready? Yep, it floats. But wait a second. What if we take the bag, open it up, and see if the chips inside sink or float? Ready? Whoa, <laughs> all of those float as well. Let's put the bag in there too. <laughs> all right, let's see. Oh, the dog bone, that's the color green. Do you think it'll sink or float? Pretty hard, it's very dense. Ready? Whoa, it just went to the bottom real quick. So it sinks, all right. Ooh, two more yo-yos. <laughs> yep, we already knew those those float and then eventually sink. Whoa, I bet you know it. This sinks and floats. Yeah, this is a weight. It's full of metal in there and it's really heavy. Ready? <laughs> yeah, that purple weight sinks. Ooh, look at the water. It's getting really murky because all of the, the chips are disintegrating and going in the water. All right, we better hurry before it gets too dirty to see if they sink or float. All right, these rubber toys <laughs> that are hollow. Ready? Yep, do you see? <laughs> they went to the top. They float. <laughs> all right, a couple more. Some of this orange. Uh, nice soft dough clay stuff. <laughs> it sinks. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh, yep, it went to the bottom. It sinks. All right, and then colored pencils. Whoa, colored pencils float. These are made out of wood. And a lot of the wood around the world sink or floats, I mean. Yeah, because they're all on the top. All right, and last but not least, the neon glow sticks. Whoa. Whoa. Look at them. They're so bright. Whoa. All right, let's see if they sink or float. Yep. They sink. <laughs> All right, that's all. Well, oh, I have a special surprise for you. The magical vial. This time, whoa, it has blue powder. See, whoa. <laughs> all right, let's put the blue powder in here. Whoa. Whoa. All right, now we have to stir it. Whoa. Making it really blue. <laughs> it 
It's so fun to see what sinks and what floats. Wow. <laughs> this blue water is like the water you see in the Bahamas or Thailand. <laughs> Whoa. All right. Well, this is the end of this video. That was awesome doing this science experiment to see what sinks and what floats. Yeah. Now you know that what is sink are float, right? Some objects, those are very heavy, can sink. And those are very light, they can float. Okay, let's see. Next. So this is also you can see observe that some float. What what can be float? Look, apple, then plastic, sponge, and then Mm, here is a ball, small ball, and what could be sink? Look at this. Scissor, fork, and then this is a heavy metal ball, and here may be pencils, or I don't know, it is not clear, but some heavy things can be sink, and some lighter thing can be float, especially for wood, if it is made by wood, or plastic or it is hollow then it will be it will be float and those are very heavy like metal look at this the key also metals and then iron it could be sink I want to show you one small video let me see what it will be very funny then it will be clear, more clear for you. This is Tyler. Tyler, with Grammarly's help, is writing an email to his boss, Anita. Ty Little Fox. Float or sink? The toy duck floats. My shoe sinks. The ball floats. My towel sinks. The cup floats. My spoon sinks. Uh-oh. Here comes Mama. I sink. Very funny, isn't it? Yeah, that hippo, you know that? What is that animal? That was hippopotamus. Maybe you can remember in the class, I taught you like H ha, for hippo or hippopotamus. So that is mama hippo and baby hippo. There, baby hippo was doing some experiment and it was amazing. And last, what did you see? Hippo said, oh, mama came so I can also sink. So he, what he did, he jumped into the water and also he, what, sink, right? Yeah, very good. So that is that animal's name. Don't forget, my dear children. Ha, for hippopotamus or short name you can say hippo. Okay, this also, look at this. Here is log, magnet, balls, and this one uh, key, plastic, duck, and apple. So you have to think which one could be sink or float. I will show you. This is metal, as I know that very heavy, so it will be sink. So sink will be circle. I will put circle like this, circle. It will be sink 
this bow also will be sink and what will be float light one will be float so i will make it cross log that wood will be float duck plastic will be float this apple also because this is lighter than water so could be but my dear children do experiment at home i said it is float okay you do and try yourself that way that this apple can float or sink okay thank you my dear children let's see another video short video and you can do the same experiment at home and speak out what can be sink and what can be float look at this video have you ever tossed some sticks into a pond or maybe you like to bring a bunch of toys into the tub either way you've probably found that not all objects act the same when they're in the water some things sink right to the bottom while other things float on the top why does that happen well i brought some friends to see if we can figure that out hi everyone my name's webb and, and hi i'm his sister phil since we live in a pond we see a lot of things sink and a lot of things float I bet! You know, you can actually learn a lot about something by seeing what it does in the water. So, I'd say this calls for an experiment. First, we'll need a pretty big container of water. We'll fill it about three quarters full and set it up where it's okay if Might some splashes out. Now we need like some stuff way. to put in the water. All kinds of different stuff. We're gonna look for a couple things around the fort that are okay to get wet. If you wanna try this experiment at home, make sure you ask before you put anything from your house into the water. Let's see what we found. All right, Squeaks found a penny, I found a stick, and Bill and Webb, they found two different spoons, a metal one and a plastic one. Good job, guys. Now, before we get started, let's take a closer look at what we'll be testing. All of these things are made out of different materials, like metal, plastic, and wood. Some of them are pretty small, and some are a little bit bigger. I think we have a pretty good group of objects because they're all pretty different. Now, before we start putting things in the water, let's guess whether each one will sink or float. And let's keep track of our guesses. But how will we... Great idea, Squeaks. We'll use a chart. All right, let's start with the stick. Bill, Webb, what do you think? Will it sink or float? I can tell you guys are pretty excited. Tell us what you're thinking. Well, in the pond where we live, I've never seen sticks that have sunk. Only ones that float. Well, that's because you haven't seen the ones that have sunk. Well, that's because they all float, Webb. Okay, fine. Put me and Bill down for the stick floats. Okay, here we go. And it floats! Good job, you two! Yay! Yay. Next, Let's try the metal spoon. What do you think? Will it sink or float? Well, I've never seen a spoon float. Me neither. Quack, 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 quack. We think it'll sink. Okay, let's see. It sinks! Woo! Yeah, we're the smartest ducks in the world. <laughs> yeah. Now, what about the plastic spoon? Do you think it will sink or float? Quack, 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 quack. Well, it's the same shape as the other spoon. Yeah, and we think it might sink, just like the metal spoon did. Okay, let's see. Uh, it floats. Aww. Bummer. Well, that's okay, guys. That's how we learn, right? Yeah, I guess. It's just weird. The other spoon sank. Well, let's record our results and see if we can find out why it sank after we test our next object. Our next object will be the penny. Do you think it will sink or float? Hmm, well, a penny feels a lot like a metal spoon, so I think it'll sink. All right, and Webb, what do you think? Well, it's so light, but kind of small, and I don't usually see things that small floating. Uh, I'll have to agree with my sister this time. It's gonna sink. It sinks! Good Whoa. Job. Whoa. Yeah. Now that we've tested all of our objects, let's look at... Did you see? Yeah, do it at home, okay? And show me the video that, whether it is sink or float. Thank you, my dear children. Next. Now this is the activities, okay? You have to see the video. First one you see, okay, I will not show you the video now, but think about the objects. This is ball, paper, then jar, pencil, crayon, then acron, and then, and this one leaf, and this one 
stick, lock. Yeah, as a twig, you can say also. Okay, so now you have to guess which can, which one can be sink or float. Okay, now I will help you out. This ball is very light and inside there will be air. So it will be sink. Really? No, it will be float. So I will circle this one. Float. How about this paper? Try it at home, my dear children. This paper will float first, you know. When it will wet, become wet, it will go down. Sometimes it is going down and sometimes it is floating. So there is two options with these papers. So try it. So I will cross it. Okay, I will pretending that this is <coughs> flow or sink. Let's see. And this jar inside there is air and very light this jar so of course it will be float it will float and then pencil yeah you know that what pencil made up of which pencil made up of um wood can be float so i'm pretending this is made by wood so it is float how about crayon this is plastic you know that is called um um this is uh, with uh, uh this color this is color and um made up of wax you know that wax yeah how you can make the candle you can you just you did you see that candle the same materials they made so i think it will be sink because it is wax try it at home okay i think it is sink so sink will be cross this is also lighter so it will be float it will float and this one leaf also very light so it will be float oh my god how about this twig or this is branches right branches of the tree so i know this is wood so it will be float understand okay now go to next page now you have to read sink float sink float and sink so what you have to going to do you have to match read this is sink right what object can be sink so sink 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 yeah yes it will sink how about float uh oh float float yeah this plastic can float how about sink what could be sink um there is no sink no all are lighter how about float yeah leaf also could be and then another could be this one also will float Okay, do you have any idea why balloon will float, you know? Because inside the balloon there is what? Air. If there's air, very light, a lighter than water. So it will float. And pencil, you know that I told you before, sometimes it made by wood or sometimes plastic or some other materi materials. So if it is wood, it will float. But if it is other material, it will sink okay go to next i think it is clear for you what is sink and what is float okay now you have to read key what is the object name key balloon pencil leaf and stapler and this is plastic duck so we will read key will sink balloon can float pencil will sink or float it, that is up to you my dear children what i explained before so do experiment at home and let me know whether this pencil will sink or float leaf will float yeah leaf will float because it is very thin and light 
Stapler can sink. Yeah, of course, because this is very heavy and metal. Made with metal. That's why. And plastic? Mm -hmm. It will. E excellent, my dear children. Plastic will float. Plastic can float. Because plastic, moreover, inside there is air. That's why it will float. Okay, go to next page. Now, there is the thinking, you know, you have to think, critical thinking, the question. What do you think? Does the ship sink or float? What do you think? Yes, the ship can. Okay, ship is, you know, floating. But why it will float? You know that? Uh, sorry. Yeah. Why it... it, it what the, does the ship sink or float? If I ask the question, so it will be, yeah, the ship can float at the same time sink. How it will sink? Think. That's the critical question. Think. This is up to you. Answer me. Why? When does ship sink? Okay, now next. This is what I said you. Hippo. Hippopotamus, right? Does hippo sink or float? What did you see that time? Think. And give me the answer. Give me the answer. Does hippo sink or float? Yeah. If he want, he can sink. You saw the video. Okay, now next. Why don't balloons sink? I told you even the before. Why don't balloons sink? Why? Because inside there is air. Yeah, there is air. That's why it cannot be sink. Thank you, my dear children. I know that you know the answer. Next, let me see. You have to, what you have to do? You have to read. Float, sink, float, sink, float, sink, Float, sink, flo float, sink. Now you have to write here. First pick float. Where is float? Okay, I will pick here float, yeah. So you will write with three lines. F L O A T. My dear children, I'm sorry that because of the, you know, I don't have pain. I'm using my laptop. That's why my handwriting will be not be so nice. But I know, I believe that if you do at home with your pencil, it will be perfect handwriting. But don't forget to follow the lines. Now sync. Sync. I will write start letter, starting letter S capital. S I N K. Okay, sink. Okay, so float and sink, my dear children. You can write one sentence even though. How you can write the sentence? How? You can write. For example, you can write like this with the help of the three line. Okay, I will help you to do this. One line, two lines, and three lines. Okay, so what we can say? We can write, for example, key. You can you ask your mama, you can write, or you, yeah, ask your mama, K, that is capital K, E, Y, K, can, Sink. I N N K. Small 
Okay. Okay, sick. Don't forget to put the full stop because sentence finish. Okay. Now let me see. We have done this one. Let me see the homework. Already it is in your book. So what we have? Okay. Okay, it is uh, not opening. So it's okay. You can open the book and you see matching same like this you can found same like this sink and float and one place you can see how to draw so you have to draw some object in the next page what is what can be sink and what can be float okay so okay you can draw like this easy okay so some object will float and you there is water put the water here also put the water okay so balloon will float as you know that we can draw balloon it will float and here what you can be what it will be sink so i can draw here okay key so i will draw try to draw t -t -t -t. yes yeah this is sink float and sink okay so that's it for today we'll come back next day next week for another topic so till now bye bye my dear children and love you don't go outside. Stay home. Stay safe. Thank you, my dear children. Bye-bye.